these are three websites that I go to regularly when I'm doing a new UX project, just to have a look through again, just to get, get a refresh, have a look what's happening on the market. Hey everyone, how's it going? Jonathan here from AJ and Smart. And today I wanna to show you three non-obvious free UX resources that I really love and my team uses here at AJ and Smart when we're trying to like just get some inspiration for products or, you know, when we want to steal some ideas of other products, but you know, want to just, we, we just want to see how other products work without having to download every single one and, and tap through it. Again, all of these are free. Some of them might have some premium parts to them, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I've talked about one of them before, but the other two I think are pretty, pretty non obvious. And I think you're going to like them. Also, please subscribe. Like, 90% of the people who watch these videos are not subscribed, but it would really help us if you did subscribe. So here are the three. I'm going to jump straight into them. All right. So the first one, which I have spoken about before, is called mobbin.design. Now, what this does, this website's great because they basically screenshot every single part of an app for you. So you can have a look at how another app that maybe is a competitor to the thing you're working on, it just shows you how they've done it. So for example, um, I just logged in right there uh, just to do this. For example, if I type in Lyft, uh, just to get some inspiration, click on it. And then I'm inside Lyft and I can see every single screen, which is amazing. This th this can take forever if you're trying to research apps or do lightning demos for your clients. For example, if I type in Quibi, like how are they doing their recommendation screen? How does that work? How does the browse screen work within that app? Um, and it's just a really quick way for me to jump in and actually look at, you know, here's, here's the thing I want to look at. But also what's cool is they also have this filter by patterns and filter by elements um, buttons, which is really cool. So if I want to have a look at like a card interface, I just can click cards on the left and I can look at all the different card interfaces that are in different apps. I really, 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 really love that. Um, so yeah, that's mobbin.design. I think a couple of our designers at AJ and Smart have the pro version of that. So I really love mobbin.design. There's a couple of other websites like this, but this is my favorite one personally. And I'll do, you know, if I'm doing a project for a client, um, I think it is important to do that sort of research uh, before you jump in on a product and just look at how the other companies are doing it. Because sometimes you don't need to reinvent the wheel. And I think that's, you know, as a UX designer, it's sort of your responsibility to just keep up with what's going on in the digital product world. So that's mobbin.design. All of the links are down in the description. By the way, if you have any really interesting uh, websites like this or products like this that you want to share, uh, let, it, let us know in the comments. All right. Now let me show you a less obvious one. This is growth.design. You go to the website. Actually, when you get there first, they ask you to put in your uh, email address. You don't even have to, you just click case studies up here. And the cool thing about growth.design is that they break down, they tear down. Um, I guess the whole thing here is like the, the idea of these tear downs. They tear down products and look at it from like a product and strategy and growth point of view. So here's a good example. Let's go into Airbnb. They've got these very nice full screen uh, case studies. So you, use, you just use your keyboard to go through it. Um, and they kind of build a story out of it to show you screen by screen how some of the things are done. I find this super, super interesting and super useful. Um, these teardowns are just so handy if you just want to know, like if your client is asking you, hey, like how might, uh, how might we cr increase like the conversion rate on this page? You can look at how other companies have done it. And I think they've done a great job. It's also really fun. It's really cute. Um, and they have all these insights here which is really cool. This is this is a really cool website, uh, growth.design, and they've got like, you know, tons and tons of really great examples in here to check out. So if you're a product designer, if you're a UX designer, I think this is fantastic. I think it's great that they made this. Now, one of my all-time favorites, the final one I'm gonna show you is called useronboard.com. And what they do is they focus on tearing down just the first, you know, the onboarding of the product and onboarding is something you'll work on quite a lot as a UX designer. Um, so let's have a look at uh, whatever Apple Music, the first one um, on here. So they've got an A to Z and essentially it's just a, pretty much like a keynote which gives you an overview of exactly how this app 
onboards users and it's like screenshotted but also they give you your opinion of okay how does this work well and w- what works well and what doesn't um, so I really really like useronboard.com they did a great job uh, some of the apps are out of date in terms of the actual screenshots um, but the learnings are still very 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 relevant so these are three websites that I go to regularly when I'm doing a new UX project just to have a look through again just to get, get a refresh have a look what's happening on the market and also so I don't you know it is also good to download the apps and then have a look at what they're actually, you know, how they work, how they feel. Again, I don't have any, um, I don't get anything for talking about these apps. Let me know if that was helpful. Let me know if this quick video was helpful. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit subscribe. It does actually help the YouTube algorithm show our videos to more people and um, have a good one. Bye-bye.